The biggest name in tennis, Roger Federer, is out of Wimbledon. He was beaten in the quarterfinal by Thomas Burditch. It was uh, went to four sets and got tied a little bit towards the end with uh, Burditch trying to serve out the match. But in the end, he was just too good. Federer complained uh, in the press conference after the match that his back had been a bit sore, but uh, said that he just couldn't go with uh, Thomas Burditch, who beat him last time the pair met. Um, but of course, uh, this is a big upset. Roger Federer hasn't missed a semi-final at Wimbledon for a long, long time. And and uh, we'll just hear from those two players post-match to see what they had to say. I didn't think I played uh, poorly, but uh, um, I definitely think, you know, he went after it the way, uh, I mean, I know Burdich have played him, I think, ten times already before, so that's the way he plays, you know, and I think he's been able to, to play more consistent the last uh, year or so, and um, I was just not able to defend well enough, and uh, and then come up with the, the good stuff when I had to, so it was it was disappointing, you know. Um, yeah. Like toughest uh, close up of the match when I was serving, and uh, I would say through all my all my career matches, this one was the was the toughest one, you know. To to close up the match against Roger Center Court in Wimbledon, it's it's pretty pretty tough, but uh, you know I handled it pretty well. I just. Closing up with with my serve, I didn't lost it, and you know, I mean, that's that's how it is. It was a really close match, about about few points, and this day it just went on my side. Thomas Burditch there. Now the ABC Steve Pearce is covering Wimbledon, and he joins us on the line now, live from London. Steve, did you see this result coming? <laughs> Paul, no, I didn't, um, and very few people did. The place is still buzzing with uh, with that news of Federer going out. It was a good few hours ago now. The sun's just setting over here, but it was just an amazing result. It, it, Thomas Burdick is a, is a very handy player. He's ranked 13 in the world and seeded 12 here. And like you said, he won the last meeting between the two, but nobody really saw this coming today at Wimbledon. It was it was a great performance from Burdick. He's He's got all the shots. He's got a massive serve, a big forehand and a, a booming backhand as well. And just when he needed to, he was able to up the ante. And Federer just didn't have the answers today. At three all, there was a, a pivotal game in the fourth set when Burdick faced four break points. But he managed to save them all and won with an absolutely beautiful, a deft touch with a backhand volley at the net. He broke Federer in the next game and then Federer... On break point at 5-4, he had a chance to break back even in that final game. He just put a, a backhand into the net, and Burdick, when he took his next chance on his second match point, he just powered a forehand away and sunk to the turf on centre court. It's Federer's backyard, but Burdick made it his own today. It was an amazing result. Now, Steve, I, uh, I really don't want to um, ask this question, but I will, uh, because um, Federer has had a couple of poor Grand Slams or poor by his standards in the last year. Do you think he's on the way out, or is, is he on the decline? I think he's definitely on the decline, Paul. Um, I, I don't think that's in question. I mean, his, his results have started to wane. I mean, look, this is a guy who set the bar so high, though. That's what you've got to to counter that with. I mean, he's the Australian Open champion um, with the defending champion coming in here. I mean, he's still an extremely good player. He's going to drop to number three in the rankings um, with this result. Um, his way may still encompass another couple of major titles. You have to put that into context as well. And he says he was injured. I was a bit disappointed that he highlighted that straight after the game. It sort of took away from the great result Burdick had. But uh, Federer is still going to challenge for another couple of years, I think. But yes, I think you're right. He is definitely now on the decline.